Peace, peace. I used to have a problem with my cooking pan. Scrub it and a polish it some spick and span. I couldn't get the food out. It was black and brown. My cooking was burnt and got the big thumbs down. We're here at Coal Canoe Base in northern Michigan for Beast Feast, the largest outdoor cooking demonstration in scouting. Let's see what's cooking. For Beast Feast, we're going to be making some fried Oreos. Take the Oreos, dip them in some pancake mix. And when you take them out of the pancake mix, you want to put them in some oil. You can put some chocolate syrup on it, some powdered sugar, whatever pleases you. Troops cook dinner and dishes and stuff for each other. Um, the staff cooks a bunch of dishes and stuff for them. Um, part of it is our cooking contest, so any of the dishes that the troops make, they can enter into the cooking contest. Beast Feast is an amazing event because not only do we show them like a bunch of different ways how to cook different types of food, we give them the food. Get your sheep butters here! We get a lot of the outdoorsy kinds of foods, things that are easily made in Dutch ovens. Um, there's a lot of Dutch oven cooking. There's a lot of, we get a lot of chili. <laughs> okay, I'm here with Patrick, who's proving that not everything at Beast Feast is, yeah. uh, is unhealthy. So tell me what yep. you guys are doing here. Well, this is fruit kebabs okay. right here. Uh, you start at this end and you just take the skewer and you skewer as much fruit as you want. You can drip yogurt on it if you would like and then you can eat it like a corn cob or eat it from one end. Uh, have a lot of scouts come over here? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of adults come over here take us up on it. I think one of the big benefits of the scouts is that they get to see, well this isn't necessarily normal camp food, but here we are we're making it in our campsite over a camp stove or open up over a fire or something like that. <laughs> I solved the griddle riddle and now goodbye! Outside of the Beast Feast, one of our big draws is our high adventure program. We've got the Rifle River running through the through our camp. We have something to offer for everyone. For the first year camper program exactly, we work on getting a first class emphasis. So we want to move them up for the ranks of home scouting. The scouts aren't coming here to see so get the same old program year after year. We focus on what you can't do at home. You can't go ATVing in your backyard. You can't go shoot shotguns or rifles or archery in your backyard. Also, you, it takes you three weeks to do everything in this camp. Man, that truly was a feast for a beast. I am stuffed. I'll see you guys next time. For more on this story, check out scoutingmagazine.org or the latest issue of Scouting Magazine.